Presented by the all-new Camry. Lead by example. This is TV18. And you're watching CNBC TV18. Presented by Hindustan Unilever Limited. Hello and welcome to Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 4. We're in Delhi today for the campus round at FMS or Faculty of Management Studies. Situated at the heart of Delhi University, this institute's biggest attractions are its marketing and finance programs as well as its fabulous placement record. In fact, the average domestic salary during final placements was as high as 16.35 lakh rupees in 2012. FMS Delhi has a special relationship with Lime. After ending Season 1 at 6th position, it slipped down to 11th position in Season 2. But this cracker team from FMS made it to the grand finale of Line 3. They put on a memorable performance but had to be content with being first runners-up. So this year, the teams from FMS have a lot of expectations riding on them to make it to the very top. The teams from FMS have a case from the fashion retail sector. Reliance brands that brought Australian apparel and accessories brand Quicksilver to India in 2011 wants a positioning and marketing strategy. Take a look at the challenge. Quicksilver that began as a boat shorts company in 1970 is a global brand of clothes, shoes and accessories inspired by boat sports like surfing and skateboarding. The company has six stores in India and is working hard on promoting itself by popularizing the boat riding culture in this market where awareness is low. Since the brand is at a nascent stage in India, this is the time for it to create a tailor-made positioning strategy. Quicksilver has two options. It can either position itself as a cool mainstream lifestyle brand for the youth or it could become a brand that represents anything and everything about board riding in India for those passionate about the sport. The company calls this the spiky positioning. The challenge for the teams from FMS is to advise Quicksilver on what route it should take. The lure of the Indian market for an action sports inspired brand like Quicksilver is twofold. One is of course the young demography and second is the ensuing business potential. We today are at a fork whether we could either capture the market early on in the game or we could choose to be a niche player and hence be long term greedy. So the teams need to narrow down on a positioning strategy from the given options for Quicksilver in India with sufficient reasoning for their suggestions. They also need to create a communication plan to launch the proposed strategy. Now that is a fun case to work on. Since Quicksilver is a brand that's strongly associated with the board riding culture, we decided it was essential for the teams to experience the sports that the brand is associated with. And since we can't obviously take them surfing here in the nation's capital, Delhi, we've set up a special skateboarding session for them. One, two, go on the board, turn your leg. Stay safe, stay safe. Yeah. Good job, good job. Shashank from Team Invincibles realizes he may not be so invincible. Make sure your back leg falls here, okay? Not here. Sagar, the telecom engineer, is learning professional dance, but balance and coordination still seems hard. If the board is going this side, you can press it here and get it this side. Vikram from Haryana enjoys adventure sports, so this must be right up his alley. Not too much on the front leg. Gonna rook jaga That's right. Nice, good one, good one, good one. Mm. See this four bolts? Mm. That, that is the front side here. Okay. Okay. And this is the thing. Okay. Anshika, the trained dancer from an IT background, seems to be enjoying this. That's nice. Body weight on the front knees. Yeah. Okay. Keep with the back leg twice. Mohinish from Bit Pilani's Goa campus has never stepped on a surfboard or a skateboard for that matter. So this is so scary. There you go. That's nice. The right left goes on this way. And Preeti also seems to be having some fun. She's an engineer who's worked in marketing at Tech Mahindra before coming to FMS. Ouch! Nice, nice. That's your go. Here you go. Go. I think you can do it now. Thank you so much. Well, both teams came through their session with flying colors and thankfully no injuries because we need them in top shape for the presentations. But guys, was that fun? It was, it was such a great experience and uh, you look at it on TV and you think it's so simple I can do this but it's not as simple as it seems. Now I know why Tony, Tony Hawk is considered a god in these circles and such a great experience. Have to definitely do this again.
and invincibles. A lot of insight from this that you're going to use in your presentations this evening. Definitely. We got a sense what it takes to be a part of Quicksilver's community. So not for just for the today's competition, we are going to take it for our life. Be more confident and more energetic. And ladies, how different was working on this case from what you would typically do at FMS? This is totally different because usually we study about the product. This is the first time ever we actually experienced the brand in this way. It was very different. And with that, we're going to take a quick commercial break. But coming up on the other side is the presentations from both teams. It would be a strategy for, for any brand to come to India. What is completely missing is that practical business aspect. We have the product offering to capture that need. If you have to pick one activity, which one activity would you choose? What did you want to show you? The new mobile internet. Internet? Mobile. Hey, big boy. Listen. What's your name? It's my name. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? The new mobile internet. Internet? Mobile. Hey, big boy. Listen. What's your name? It's my name. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Warning may increase your heartbeat. ICICI Lombard Health Insurance and CNBC TV 18 present the India Healthcare Awards 2012 coming soon. Presented by ICICI Lombard Health Insurance, research partner IMRB, magazine partner Modern Medicare, Modern Pharma, and Doc and Doc. Captive Media partner Live Media, Multiplex partner Inox. The year end special of Forbes India. On stands now. Kaja, 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 but the power to change your destiny is in our hands, my brother told me. He showed me how to use my Visa debit card on the internet. It's safe, he said. It gave me access to my money and to things far away. With this power, I built a cycle generator to bring light and cheer to my neighborhood. It brought the sound of playing back to our land. Visa debit. Dream to advance. Welcome back. You're watching Season 4 of Lessons in Marketing Excellence. We're at FMS Delhi for our campus round this week, and our two teams will be presenting their solutions to a case from Quicksilver. Joining us on the jury are Krishnan Sundaram, General Manager Beverages, Hindustan Unilever, Lipika Ganguly, Marketing Head of Reliance Brands, and representing CNBC TV 18, Karma Paljo. Our first team to present tonight is the Invincibles. Invincibles, you'll have three minutes, and your time starts now. On the basis of our research, we propose Quicksilver as one-stop bold rider destination in India. Primarily because of the core competency and first mover advantage before the competitors like Billabong, Ripkel step in. Perceptual mapping showed a distinct TG consistent with Quicksilver in our proposed strategy, whereas TG was incongruent in the mainstream lifestyle brand. Also, a distinct Marcom strategy will be required for different segments and breaking the inertia would be difficult. So, on understanding the consumer perception, our core TG is 13 to 24 years boys and girls in SEC A1, A2, B1, leading to leakage segment in the 13 to 18 age groups, which is the school goers, college aspirants, and in the 18 to 24 age group, which is the college goers and fresh working graduates. Next, on the basis of Clarita's Priz model, we segmented our consumer in four broad segments. Firstly, trendsetters which require styles, so we will direct them to discover their own trend. Secondly, movers and shakers who crave, crave for foreign brands, so we will provide them a compelling experience. Boomtown singles prefer independence, so we will focus on the health attributes and recreational benefits. Finally, new empty nets try to catch up with the trendsetter, so we will catch them young. Also, to expand geographically, we will target underrated high potential areas like public schools and colleges in small cities also. Secondly, high yielding performance earners that is scattered upper class in tier 2-3 tier 2 three cities. Our consumer insight was based upon focus groups uh, discussion and the in-depth interviews we, where we surveyed 93 people. We have certain uh, moments of truth which we will be discussing right now. A very little awareness about the brand riding activities, uh, skill based adventure sports and the operators in the destination which are operating for it. The offerings are sports awareness, competition focus, elite young surfers, summer vacation, recreational activities. The second one is cost of board activities. It's a big issue for the parents. So our offering will be a pool programming where the, where the parents pay in once and choose new and the used gear for the kids every year. 
The next one is the skateboarding is only considered to be in the purview of latest, coolest clothes, boards, tricks of activities. So our offering would be take that experience to the next level, that is a common hangout place where we will be including quick jamming, skill based attraction, loyalty cards and the promotional tie ups. Later we will be talking about the 360 degree marketing campaign approach where we will include advertising, events and experience, consumer sampling, interactive marketing, distribution as well as PR publicity. According to Grail research on consumers of tomorrow, we identified four points for our target group. Competition for attention, design, social responsibilities and constant connection. Keeping this in mind, we have a few marketing strategies for Indian customers. Quicksilver Club, online buzz, viral marketing by developing an app for surfing, skating on their mobiles, student ambassador programs, co-branding, events and competitions like My Style Campaign, Maverick Men who ride Himalayas, product placement in movies and reality shows like MTV, Spitzvilla and Rodis who have a higher visibility in Indian consumers. The Retail Connect program for retail promotion, a Quicksilver Cafe bar in a retail outlet providing consumers a cool place to hang out. We also stress on the Quicksilver's way of hand giving back. For surfers, launch of educational programs sponsored by Quicksilver, girl support program focusing on developing a sense of self, a sense of well-being. To conclude, we recommend the following two main measures of success for our strategies. Tangibles measures like sales and revenues, monetizing the intangibles through brand, brand audit, brand asset valuators, consumer audit and confidence consumption. Thank you. What would you say that, uh, you know, there's this one thing which is different from what you presented, it would be a strategy for, for any, any, any brand to come to India. As I mentioned in the very first slide that we have a core competency. So the technical expertise which Quicksilver has in this board sport. So because we are not just promoting this brand, we are the ambassador of this sport. So first of all, we will promote this sport as a whole because we have this core technical expertise which many other companies don't have in this world also. Now, uh, the challenge was there was a five-year business plan that was shared with you and there was a path to success, right? Absolutely. So what I would expect from you is to come back not just with a communication and a marketing plan but a more comprehensive plan so when I say marketing or a go to market strategy it also involves where should Quicksilver be opening up its stores how many stores uh, what should the product line be comprising of and of course a very key part is the marketing which uh, like Karma here mentioned uh, is a very very uh, you know you have uh, touched upon uh, marketing activities which are applicable for any other brand so what is that unique differentiator that such a brand should follow as a strategy so we'll be we'll be dividing our complete quicksilver offerings into some certain parts so one is the water body sports now with the water body sports there are certain locations likewise goa likewise kerala likewise tamil nadu why we have chosen this? Now these are the states where the maximum tourism that happens and this is not related to India only, it is also the abroad. So people keep on pouring in into these states, we can collaborate with the state governments itself and we can pro provide an offering in this. The second stage in terms of the location will be moving towards the hilly regions. Likewise the Shimla, likewise the Manali, likewise the Dehradun. Now these are the again the regions where the tourists keeps pouring in and there we can give the second part of the quicksilver offering that is the roller skating itself. Um, as you asked about the product offerings which uh, Fixura can come up with, we have identified few offerings which like training kit wherein the moment of truth according to us which we got the, from the consumer insight is like consumers were there that board riding activities may cause head and neck injuries. So we have uh, the product offering to co capture that need is like our uh, proper training kit, helmets and armors. Well, like where in India wherein a parent is worried about his ch child being get hurt. So we have a training kit along with a offering like a skateboard. So we have a complete package when it is available for a uh, child. I think the, if the parents may also be inclined towards buying that uh, whole product as a kit. You've chosen a route which is a niche, right? So it's, it's targeting a specific set of customers, which also means it's put clearly in the case, your size of business is going to be small. Your size of money available to invest is going to be small. So in this list of activities that you've put down for even brand building, which you've spent a lot of detail in, if you had to pick one activity, which one activity would you choose? We would uh, definitely count on the product placement uh, in movies and then uh, the uh, reality shows like Rodis and uh, Spitzula. The reason why we chose this is the reality shows like in Rodis and Spitzula, they are tasks being performed. Wherein if Pixelor is involved <coughs> in such kind of task, conducting a skateboard event or a surfing event as a task for the uh, contestants there, it will give a opportunity for the contestants also to try it and also the viewers which where Indian, according to the research, it says that Indians have emotional collective reality shows. So that's the point wherein the normal consumer or the youth which we are 
targeting on, we'll get an insight and they will also get a chance to try it. So getting a consumer insight and also uh, giving a product for them. Okay. Well done, Invincibles. That was an intense Q&A session. We'll see if you stay invincible after the second team has presented. We're going to take a quick break here, but when we come back, we'll have the presentation from Team Sweet Lime Soda. There is a disconnect between what you say is the big idea and what you support in the presentation. We did not even consider the construction of skate ramps here. How many board riders did you meet? It's not a sport that you do alone. It's something that you need to show off and learn from others, new tricks and all that. Meet the new boss, your customer. The data she shares from comments, reviews and social networks tells the company what to make. What it's made from, how it's shipped, and the way it's sold. Some companies are increasing sales up to 20% by using analytics to tailor experiences to the one person that matters most. That's what I'm working on. I'm an IBMer. Let's build a smarter planet. A break-even point in a company is referred to an operational situation. False. False. This is what I call Tukka Marna. Financial quest stirs up a storm in the cultural capital of Maharashtra, Pune. One team will go into the national semi-final. Wait, don't. It's not your turn. To find out which team qualifies to the semis, watch NSE Financial Quest at these times. Presented by National Stock Exchange. Hi babes, plan banana sham ka? Mere paas to ladki patane ke do do ideas hain. What's the matter? I've lost my mobile. Could you give me a missed call please? Isme aapka number hai. You want me to delete it? Is contact ka koi naam to ho gaye? Tamanna. Tamanna? Mujhe tumhari photo to mil gayi aur tumhe mera friend request. Aur dusra, go get a cell con. Ab smart se ban jao smarter. Kar do sabki. Bahut hi baat. Now get the best deals on bus tickets only on goibibo.com. You're my pumpkin, pumpkin. Hello, honey bunny. Hello. You're my pumpkin, pumpkin. Hello, honey bunny. Idea hai to phone will ring. You're my pumpkin, pumpkin. Hello, honey bunny. Kashmir se Kanya Kumari ta phone will ring. Hello, honey bunny. Feeling something, something. Hello, honey bunny, honey bunny. Tumbo, tumbo. What a network. Meet the new boss, your customer. The data she shares from comments, reviews, and social networks tells the company what to make, what it's made from, how it's shipped, and the way it's sold. Some companies are increasing sales up to 20% by using analytics to tailor experiences to the one person that matters most. That's what I'm working on. I'm an IBMer. Let's build a smarter planet. It's the time to Kiss go. Boriat se dur. Let's Kiss go. Introducing the new Auto 800. Let's go. Welcome back. You're watching Lime Season 4 and the action is heating up here at our campus round at FMS Delhi. Our second team ready to present their solutions to a case from Quicksilver is Team Sweet Lime Soda. The same rules guys, you'll have three minutes and your time starts now. Does the brand that stands for adventure and passion position itself as a mainstream lifestyle apparel brand or does it become the brand for the truly passionate? The mainstream space is highly concentrated and dominated by key players. In contrast, the offbeat space is unexplored with no known competition. Increasing western influence and ex exposure to untraditional sports are key drivers. We recommend Quicksilver to become the brand for the truly passionate board rider. TG in India, 14 to 24 years, students and young professionals who are group leaders and influencers were contacted to understand legitimacy of our choice. Survey results showed that 70% of our TG are aware about board sports, 85% of those interviewed were not aware about avenues for the same in India, 60% of our respondents were willing to try them unconditionally. When asked to name a brand associated with a single sport, the TG could not name any. This showed there's a great opportunity to create a new category and own it. Our strategy is to create the subculture of board riding and become the owner of the space. 
We believe Quicksilver success in India is a function of attention, interest, experience and connect. So from our primary research, we understand that TG is unaware of the existence of such a culture in India. So the challenge would be to sell board sports as a category and then associate Quicksilver to board sports to uh, own the space. So firstly, we generate hype about board sports through an integrated marketing campaign with the theme revolving around bringing the Quicksilver culture to India. Secondly, sponsor board events during popular shows like X Games by tying up with TV channels like ESPN and Star Sports to create a top of mind recall. Once we have their attention, we have headline grabbing exclusive events like a Quicksilver Big Bang Tour where world class athletes perform and captivate the TG. The timing of these events can be made to coincide with popular turnout events like the Sunburn Festival. So once you've grabbed their attention, we move on to interest. So once the TG's curiosity has been peaked, uh, we have to convert this awareness to footfall in the stores. So we do this by a burst approach by incentivizing them to step foot in the stores. We create a lot of buzz on the social media since it is where the TG spends most of its time according to our research. Secondly, it clearly came out from our surveys that the TG visits pubs and sports bars very often and by tying up with such pubs and sports bars and screening board sport events, we can quickly start building a community. Moving on to experience, in order to reduce the physical risk associated with the sport, we propose experiential stores. The Quicksilver store must include ramps and gaming consoles to allow the TG to try out the sport under expert guidance and simulated conditions. Mall activations and college fests are other ways of doing the same. Our primary research indicates that the store is perceived to be a beachwear brand. The store layout must provide ample spaces for board ramps and experiential components and these should be clearly visible from the window area. In order to connect with the TG and gain their loyalty, a subculture needs to be created and a platform for engagement. We propose weekly city meets and impromptu skill shows of skateboarders. Skate arenas and club outside the city should be used to induce bowling-like habitual consumption in the target group. To summarize, our communication core through different media will be based on the four-step strategy we propose for the brand. That is, grab the attention to announce board sports arrival in India, generate interest in the brand through incentives, make board sports the next big sport to experience, and connect with enthusiasts to form the culture of board riding. Thank you. Uh, how many uh, board riders did you meet or did you interact with before starting with your work? So, uh, we spoke to around uh, three or four typical board riders. Apart from this, we also visited the Quicksilver store where all the uh, managers and everybody were uh, board riders. So they were also a part of our survey, so that's around eight people. Did you go and speak to <coughs> board riders mm -hmm. who are truly passionate but not associated with Quicksilver? Mm -hmm. So sir, the ones that we spoke to were the ones who were self-taught. So uh, they no, no, have no, learned... No, no, not associated the, with Quicksilver. No, not associated okay. with Quicksilver but have learned board riding mm -hmm. themselves and have actually seen it abroad somewhere and bought skateboards from there to India. So what is their experience about Quicksilver in India today? Yeah, so uh, what they told us was that uh, there are a couple of places where they actually got to meet skateboarders and Quicksilver was also a part of that. So for instance, the Shaka Club in Mangalore is one place where uh, they saw Quicksilver uh, highly associated with the event there. Apart from that, except for the store, they actually did not see Quicksilver in too many places. And what do they want from the brand? So they want, uh, they said that typically skateboarders form a community, something where all of them get together and get to practice because it's not a sport that you do alone. It's something that you need to show off and learn from others, new tricks and all that. So they actually wanted a community sort of a thing where they get to interact more. Uh, what I would like to know from you is, have you thought through in terms of where should Quicksilver be present in the country, in terms of its uh, visibility, both in terms of stores or any other way? Also, what kind of product offering should it have? And the second part is you have um, mentioned the objective of your strategy is to create the subculture of board riding in India. So uh, what is that one thing that you are going to be doing which is actually going to be creating the subculture of board riding? Uh, so firstly, uh, about uh, where the store should be uh, present in India. We have a location-wise entry strategy planned out. Uh, so in the first year, there will be nine stores all across India. About six of them will actually be Quicksilver stores and those are already present. Two of them will be skating arenas and one will be a surf club in Goa. So after each year, the number of doors will increase, the number of stores will increase. So accordingly, we've chalked out a plan where different cities are being incorporated depending on the youth pattern and the sec A1 and A2, which is the primary consumer group. Secondly, about what is the one unique thing that we will do to inculcate this kind of culture is we have designed this plan where Quicksilver builds and uh, maintains skating arenas and skating parks 
there are trained instructors over there who will instruct people there are exclusive membership where pixel were members will come they will there'll be uh, events happening at regular intervals the community will engage with each other they will learn from each other and that community will flourish when you made board riders in india yeah what made them take it up and equally if you met people who weren't board riding today what stops them what what comes in the way and how do you address that how do you overcome the barrier that exists in the mind today so to answer the question as to why are the people who've seen board riding and they're not able to do it in india uh, what stops them from doing it uh, one is the fear they fear that it's physically uh, it's a risk so they and they don't, they don't have instructors to teach them so they're not so sure about picking it up on their own secondly the infrastructure in india right now does not support it they can't uh, board skate on the footpaths of india thirdly there's no community support they are willing to try board sports they want to do board sports they don't have the infrastructure they don't have a community to support it so that is what quick civil will bring in a community and infrastructure in the form of arenas and trainers sure. thank you sweet lime soda that was fantastic and we're going to give our judges a few minutes to deliberate and decide which team wins and gets to represent FMS in the semi-final round. While the teams step out to look back on their presentations, we get a chance to listen in on the jury's analysis of the teams. There was one clear thought that was yeah. there. The first one just is just so was just all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Second, uh, yeah. because they they were at least thought through yeah. their target audience and, and how to clearer of yeah, what they, they wanted to do. Far more clearer. Yes, yes. Judges were not happy about the geographical segmentation which we didn't cover. They are not looking at that, that objective, objective and how to achieve that objective. Right. I think our strategy was quite a, a big game changer, as in what we suggested was a big game changer for the brand. So let's see the if the implementation comes through or not. Well, the results are in, and the team that wins today's campus round of Lime Season Four at FMS Delhi, the team that goes on to represent FMS in the semi-final round, is Team Sweet Lime Soda. Well done, guys. And Lipika, do you want to tell us why the jury picked Sweet Lime Soda to win today? They have actually thought through the case study well. They have broken it down into stages, which is very good. how you enter a market how you experience the brand and then how you connect so that's a very good uh, you know way to uh, tackle any strategy so good thank you judges congratulations once again to both teams sweet lime soda we'll see you again in a few weeks time in the semi finals and with that it's a wrap on this campus round of lime season 4 do join us next week right here on cnbc tv 18 this is really exciting we are very happy we won Uh, so I think we won because uh, we took Quicksilver not just as a case study but as a brand that we wanted to experience. So that showed in our presentation. Going forward, we'll hopefully do one better than our senior team, which was runners-up last year. So hopefully, we'll win this time. Presented by Hindustan Unilever Limited.